In the event of a suspected or confirmed overdose, the Wilmington Fire Department is dispatched along with emergency medical services to assist in reversing that overdose. And we'll get there to be it in a house or a vehicle or wherever the individual may be, and we'll check their pupils, pulse, their breathing, and we'll try to confirm whether or not it is an overdose. In that instance, we will administer Narcan intranasally the administration of naloxone, or Narcan as it's typically called, is helped to restore their breathing process. And we'll continue to reassess the patient until emergency medical services arrive. Before the quick response team was formed, there wasn't anything that was being done. So people would overdose and keep going through the cycle of overdose and going through the hospitals and possibly even dying and there wasn't any resource for people. The City of Wilmington chose Coastal Horizons to be the agency to implement this pilot program for the quick response team as the answer to our community's opioid epidemic issue. So the quick response team is a team of three peer support specialists who have lived experience with their own addiction, you know, maybe own mental health issues, as well as two clinicians. And we are able to walk alongside a person after they've overdosed to help navigate to treatment when they are ready for treatment. So we help them get fast track to treatment. They don't have to wait. And that's what's led us to last fiscal year, an 82% success rate in engagement and recovery. And so far this fiscal year, our percentage is up to 87% of those agreeing that have been contacted and agreed to follow up. 87% of those people have agreed to some form of follow up treatment. We are filling in an area that just wasn't happening before. And in doing so, we are actively getting more people into treatment. What makes the Quick Response Team unique is the fact that we are very supportive of the client. So we are with them from the minute that we get the call that they've overdosed up until the end, um, making sure that they have transportation, making sure that they have, you know, any support that they need. We make it as comfortable as possible for an individual when seeking treatment and there's no financial barriers, you know, money is not the issue. We have scholarships and grants put in place to help individuals who can't afford to do so. We are absolutely positively HIPAA compliant, um, nor do we come after you. We don't have badges. We're not the police. We're here to help you and to make sure that you maintain a healthier lifestyle. We're here to prevent the overdose from happening, so it's also for those at risk of overdose. So if you have a loved one suffering with opioid addiction, you know, we're here for those individuals too, so that we can prevent the overdoses from happening. It is important to have individuals on the quick response team that have lived experience because we can personally understand like the journey every step of the way. Like I'm a person in long-term recovery. I have had, I've battled with the criminal justice system, with getting into treatment. It can be very overwhelming. And so as peers, we're able to step in and walk alongside them and lessen the load, ease the burden of all the obstacles and barriers that individuals face when transitioning into treatment or reaching out to get help. My idea is that this should encompass all overdoses, not just opiate. And we're talking about alcohol poisoning, cocaine overdoses are on the rise, benzodiazepines. So I want to see it expanded so that it's any type of overdose, not just limited to opiates. Then it becomes a model for the rest of our state, if not the East Coast and beyond. I'm proud of the quick response team um, simply because I get a chance to see people grow. And it just makes me feel good to know that I'm making a difference. And that's something that the Quick Response Team definitely does. It provides so many different avenues to help reach individuals struggling with addiction. You know, we're able to be the change that we want to see in others, and that is very admirable. I feel like I'm actually able to help provide hope for somebody when they're they're most vulnerable and they're, they're lowest. And, that it can't see any way out. That is something that is really near to my heart to be able to help somebody find some light in their life.